Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Nicki Minaj is fed up right now because she is tired of people not giving her the credit and the props that she deserves. Now, she recently went on Instagram and she posted some footage from Jermaine Dupri's show called The Rap Game. And in this footage, an interviewer was directing a question to some of the female rappers on the show. And she was asking them to name some of the female rappers who influenced them other than Nicki Minaj, which I thought was very weird. My question is for the ladies specifically. You know, if you want to be in this industry, unfortunately, you don't have that many examples you can look up to because I wouldn't say Nikki would be your example. Or you tell me, is she your example? Because that's an, I got a question after that. If you tell me that's who you're looking up to. My inspiration is Rod Digger from Newark, New Jersey. I feel like people like Queen Latifah and Remy Ma, just because, okay, this is a male dominant industry, but we finna come in here and we finna destroy y'all. Like they got that power to do that. Now, Ricky. I know I've heard you say Nicki Minaj more times than anything, but today you said Queen Latifah. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't believe that that's your true answer. You said to Tiana Taylor in True Star Magazine that Nicki Minaj You're right. was your artist. At the press conference, you said Queen Latifah. I need you to be about what you about. Yeah. Now, it's obvious that this young girl kind of felt some pressure to mention another female rapper besides Nicki Minaj. And sometimes some interviewers put that pressure on them. But Nicki Minaj had an issue with this and she went on Instagram and called out the interviewer. And this is what she said. Look at all the hate and bitterness on this black woman's face when somebody says their influence is the most dominating female rapper of the last decade, child. All you girls do this. So sad. Even male artists gotta pretend in interviews now, child. Laughing my tail off. If you're this weak-minded, you won't last in this game anyway. This is what's going on behind the scenes at award shows, radio shows, etc. They gotta say they was influenced by people who was rapping before they was born, child. Anything but those 10 little letters on a big side. Nicki Minaj. Nicki also went live on Instagram and addressed this. I wasn't gonna do Queen Radio for two weeks, but a couple of new developments have developed. And I'm thinking about maybe doing it within the next week or so, child, because, hunty, woo, woo. It's... It's, you know what, y'all, let's have a moment of silence for all the girls who love Nikki, look up to Nikki, and get on that microphone and get in that interview and say everybody name but Nikki. Let's have a moment of silence for these bozos and get the red nose. Yes! Get them a size 12 in a big pair of red floppy shoes. <laughs> get them, get them the red nose to me. Oh, we gonna get into some things. That's why I will shout out and continue to shout out the girls that keep it real with themselves. Y'all, I'm gonna just ask this one question and leave. Imagine if male rappers couldn't say they were influenced by Lil Wayne. Like, imagine if they couldn't say that. Imagine if they were 19 years old and they couldn't say they was influenced by Lil Wayne. They had to say they was influenced by Big Daddy Kane. Who also, who also is a great and a legend and an icon. But that's not who you was influenced by, baby boy. It's sickening. Y'all better be y'all so lucky I ain't got my bombs and my sound effects. Ooh, child, because Queen Radio gonna have a couple guests and they just gonna bring my petty to another motherfucking level. I'm taking notes. Okay. Yeah, Ben the Dawn, like, they, if, if they can't say they was influenced by Wayne, they got to say they was only influenced by KRS-One and Big Daddy Kane. These are, these are icons and legends, too. But why y'all got to lie? I just hit an Ariana Grande note, bitch. So, but nevertheless, I'm in a good mood, y'all. And I want to tell y'all I love y'all so much. For the ones that's holding me down, just know it will be worth the motherfucking...
fucking wait. Yup. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be worth the wait, child. Cause now y'all done got me. Y'all. Bye. So that was Nikki's quick live of her addressing that video. And I will say this. I think Nikki has a point. If a person is inspired by somebody, they shouldn't be afraid to say it. But unfortunately, industry politics come to play in situations like this. Saying Nicki Minaj's name might rub some people in the industry the wrong way. So some artists avoid mentioning her because they don't want to ruin relationships with people who do have issues with Nicki. And also there are some people in media who don't really want rappers to give credit to Nicki. For example, the woman who was in this video Nicki posted, she claimed on Instagram that she didn't want young girls listening to Nicki Minaj. She said on her Instagram story, so Nicki posted about me today. This video was over a year old, but I said what I said. Nicki isn't for young girls, adult women, okay, but girls, no. So this interviewer whose name is Kim Ford was the one who pressured this young girl whose name is Lyric Chance slash Ricky to mention another influence other than Nikki. And people were attacking her, which was terrible because she is a child. But a person came to her defense and said, y'all don't attack her. She was bullied into switching. That's the real problem. And she said, right. And people also aren't understanding that I was 13 years old when the show was filmed and I'm 16 now. Of course, as a 13 year old kid, I felt the need to change my answer, considering there were adults pressuring me into thinking my original answer was wrong. Nicki Minaj replied to this post on the Neighborhood Talk Instagram page and she defended the rapper and said this, she's sweet and she's the victim here, did nothing wrong, a whole kid, the grown bitter woman is simply sick. Now I do understand that Nicki does feel a way that some people are choosing not to credit her and there are some people in the industry who don't want artists to credit her but I think she needs to stop wasting her energy on people who don't want to credit her for her influence. Not everybody is influenced by Nicki and not everyone is going to credit her for what she has done but there are a lot of female rappers out there who have given Nicki props. Your question, it was not even a question, it's just a statement. It's like opinions on Nicki Minaj here's my opinions influential um, groundbreaking uh, ushered in the new wave um, of this generation of uh, women in rap um, bars punchlines iconic voice I love Nicki bitch what this is my inspiration. I love, I love her. Like me growing up, this is the person that I looked at. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what made me say it and express it, but I, I wanted everybody to know. Nicki Minaj has 100 million followers. I'm not thinking like she's gonna see it and say them. I did it because I wanted my fans to know like where I get some of my inspiration from. Number two would definitely be Nicki Minaj. Um, she got the longest run out of all the females. She just took a little bit of everything and, and just took it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? She real fresh, she give me energy, like make me feel like a little bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, I'm- Hi. Yes, love. She's I love her. Nikki is fucking amazing. Like, she is open the door for a lot of us female rappers today. We love you! Oh my gosh! Since motherfucking 2008, when I was in eighth grade and I could listen to rap mm -hmm. on my own. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Oh, okay. Stop playing with Nicki Minaj like she ain't the motherfucking goat. Like she ain't that big. Thank you, thank you, Megan. But what kind of made rap more realistic for me was Nicki Minaj. Um, everybody before her was just super legendary to me. So I just thought that, you know, female rap had its time. And then when she had came out, I was like, wow, like a new face, I could do it too. And she just kind of like turned me on with her lyrics, her delivery and her style and I fell in love with it. When Nicki Minaj shouted me out, you know, I. I I grew up on that woman, like, you know, so it's like, it's my fav favorite rapper. Like, uh, you know, I used to, I listened to her, I used to listen to her my whole entire life when I was younger. So it's just so cool that I would have never thought in a million years Nicki would ever know who I am. So. so those are some of the female rappers out there who have given Nicki props for opening doors for them. And this does lead me to touch on another topic because earlier this week, 
Cardi B did an interview with Tidal and claimed that she played a role in opening doors for the current female rappers that are out right now. I feel like after me, I'll say that it's kind of like easier for a lot of these female artists. Like I feel like I, before me, mm. There was no female yeah. rapper that was signed to a label. Well, you know, the ones that already been established. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was signing them. Yeah, right. And now everybody's just signing yeah. them. If you could rap and you got a couple of followers because nobody want to miss the opportunity like a lot of labels and people miss the opportunity with yeah. me because I went to a couple. <laughs> yeah. I went to a couple of motherfuckers. Did they say no, no, wow. yeah. no? Now, Cardi B did get some backlash for this interview, and she did go on Twitter to clarify what she meant. This is what she said. I didn't say I paved the way for female rappers, but I definitely gave the hood and women hope. Dudes wasn't collabing with female rappers. Labels were signing female rappers and putting them in a shelf and not focusing on them, not giving them proper attention. It seemed like it was impossible for it to be more than one female rapper. These male rappers were not even taking money from female rappers for a feature because it seemed far-fetched for another woman to make it. I see so many male artists collabing with females now, even. And y'all can deny it as much as you want and say I'm crazy or tell me to shut up, but how many female rappers before me were getting chances or getting pushed. They wasn't believing and now they are. And for the slow ones again, no, I ain't made female rappers want to rap because girls been rapping, girls been having talent, but the music industry wasn't believing and hating on female rappers. And that's Big Bentley. She also said, I'm lying. So tell me what rappers was giving features to female rappers? What label was pushing a female rapper? What TV music show was inviting female rappers? Only two female rappers for years and one ain't last too long. <laughs> now tell me. I want to see something. No matter how I would have worded, people will always find a way to flip it and make it negative because they hate Cardi, but yet they still can't find me a magazine, a big festival, a male-female collab that happened between 2008 and 2017, except for one female rapper. Y'all comprehension skills must be on slow because I never discredit nobody. There's no female rappers before I was born. It died out due to hope and it got revived back in 08 and the music industry made it a stigma like there could only be one and now there's plenty striving. Now that was definitely a mouthful, but Cardi does bring up some good points that the music industry wasn't really that enthusiastic about female rappers because they did not feel like they could profit off of them. So they didn't have any interest in investing in female rappers. But now since they've seen the rapid success of Cardi B, they realize that, hey, there's a lane out here for female rappers to thrive right now. Let's sign them and let's make money off of them. So it's really all about money. It's about the dollar. And another thing is labels were afraid to invest in female rappers because they didn't feel like their artists could compete with somebody like Nicki Minaj. Now, Nicki Minaj came into the rap game when the female rap presence was kind of quiet. So she did a lot of groundwork and she kind of took over that lane and became mainstream. And she was the only female rapper who was dominating the mainstream market and the charts for the past decade. Now, there were some female rappers who did come up during Nicki's reign. You had artists like Young M.A. Young M.A. had a big hit called Ooh, but she did kind of fall off after that. Also, there's Dage Loaf. Dage Loaf had several hits, including one of her bigger ones called Try Me, but she too did lose her momentum. Also, there was Tink. Now, Tink is more of a singer slash rapper, and she had the potential to blow up, but unfortunately, she was in a bad label situation with Timbaland, so she also lost her momentum. Next, you had Azalea Banks. Azalea Banks is very talented, and she should have definitely been mainstream, but unfortunately, Azalea Banks ruined her own momentum with her crazy antics. Lastly, you had Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea was really the only female rapper to go mainstream besides Nicki Minaj within the past decade. But people did not take Iggy seriously because she was rapping like this. Master, she know the pants got spinning like a pet. Her rapped her bench, her did like, don't like that. She fast and motorbike faster. He ain't gotta get a bitch, watch her rapture. White bitch, go back and blow like a... Child, that right there is still crazy to me crazy anyway <laughs> another artist i can name is dreezy dreezy did have some moderate success as well but unfortunately she doesn't have the push that she deserves 
The only person who has consistently been dominating female rap for the past decade is Nicki Minaj. When Cardi B came onto the scene, it did change some things and it did allow the industry to embrace other female rappers. With all of that being said, Cardi B may have made a shift in the industry, but ultimately she did not inspire the new female rappers that are out right now. The people who did it were the legends and the veterans like Nicki Minaj, Lil' Kim, Missy Elliott, MC Light, Salt and Peppa, Queen Latifah, Lauren Hill, Foxy Brown, Eve, Trina, Left Eye, Remy Ma, the list goes on. Those are the women who have paved the way for the new female rappers that are out right now. And Nicki Minaj has actually elevated the level that female rappers can reach. So if we're technically talking about the women who have opened doors, it would be those women. Those are just my whole thoughts on that whole topic. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.